Hey everybody, Ricky Adam Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, April the 20th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A, Aqueduct Race Course first, race 3 on their card, 1.52 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile test on the turf track, fillies and mares, 3 years old and up. Race for an optional claiming prize of some $69,000. Contenders number six, Laughing, number one, A, Believe in AP, number four, Musical Rain, and number seven, Lince Wince. Number six, Laughing, an Irish bred entry, drops in class by 11 track master units. It's the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, racing at today's distance for a mile. On the turf, has hit the board in three of her last five, winning twice, including a power run win in her third race back. Folks, I don't normally put an entry coming off a long layoff on top. However, this entry is taking a class drop, which hopefully will erase the ring rust. And trainer Alton Goldberg has an exceptional record with entries coming off layoffs, hitting the board with an impressive 62% of those entries, winning at a remarkable 31% clip. Number 1A, Believe in AP, has hit the board in four of her last five, including a pair of circle trips being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 3 summary, number 6, Laughing, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 1A, Believe in AP, number 4, Musical Rain, and number 7, Lince Wince, 6-1. Four seven in the third from Aqueduct. Let's go to Keeneland next for race nine five thirteen p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Double Dog Dare Stakes. Eight and a half furlongs on the cushion track. Grade three. Phillies and mares four years old and up racing for a hundred thousand dollars. Contenders number five Pat Achak. Number eight Joyful Victory. Number four Principal Roll. And number one Legrand Bilad. Number five, Pat Attack, is the overall speed and pace profile leader in the stakes field, racing at her about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the cushion dirt, takes a class drop of seven track mastery units, has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four of those adventures, including a power run win in her fifth race back. Number eight, Joyful Victory, has hit the board in three straight, winning in her second race back. Jockey Robbie Alvarado was in her irons for those three races. Is back today at Keeneland for ride number four. Race number nine, summary number five. Pat Attack tops the contenders list, which also includes number eight, Joyful Victory, number four, Principal Roll, and number one, La Grande Ballade, 5 8 4 1. In the ninth today from Keeneland, the Double Dog Dare Stakes. Go to Pimlico next for race number nine. 4.55 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 8.5 furlongs on the dirt, 3 year olds and up race for an optional claiming prize of some $39,000. Contenders number 2, Indian Jones, number 5, Framed, number 3, Meister Singer, and number 4, Edgewater. Number 2, Indian Jones, a 9-2 shot, drops in class by 7 track master units, is the overall speed leader in this field, racing at or about today's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the dirt, as hit the board in power run fashion in 4 of his last 5 starts. Jockey Era Lewis Vaz and trainer Phil Aristone sent into the post this afternoon. They've hit the board with 57% of their entry saddles as a team to date. Number 5, Framed, 5-1 to one in the morning line, the pace profile leader, has hit the board in 5 straight including a win in his second race back. Race 9 summary, number 2, Indian Jones, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 5, Framed, number 3, Meister Singer, and number 4, Edgewater, 2-5-3-4 in the ninth from Pimlico. Bonus long shots, Indiana uh, Downs, race 2, Excuse me, race number five, number two, Mother Warrior, five to one on the morning line, qualifies as Trackmaster plus Power Pony, takes a big class drop of some 22 units, the overall speed leader in this maiden field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, race five, number three, Sky Angle, four to one on the morning line, qualifies as a Power Pony, drops in class by six Trackmaster units, the overall speed leader in this maiden field, racing at the mile distance on the dirt. So handicapping on a Friday afternoon from Aqueduct, the Big A, Keeneland, and Pimlico. Rick Needham for the Equinomace Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.